as Chandrayaan-3 heads to the moon and will land on August 23rd at 6 p.m. There was another country aiming to land at the exact same place, the moon's south pole, but failed. Russia's first moon mission in 47 years has failed. Russia's Luna 25 took off for the moon on August 10th, a whole 35 days after Chandrayaan-3 was launched into space and was expected to reach the moon a day before Chandrayaan. Luna 25 spacecraft crashed into the moon after spinning into an uncontrolled orbit. Russia's space agency lost contact with Luna 25 after a technical issue in the spacecraft. Measures taken to locate Luna 25 were also unsuccessful. Now, no one will give an answer about what happened explicitly. If we talk about the facts, then when the station entered a circular circumlunar orbit with a height of 100 kilometers, it was flying. Everything was fine. When it was necessary to prepare for landing, the orbit had to be turned into an ellipse, where the shortest distance to the moon should have been 18 kilometers and the longest 100. such an elongated ellipse and in order to form this elongated ellipse orbit to lower the altitude it was necessary to turn the engines forward along the station's flight path and turn on the engines for braking the russian spacecraft was scheduled to land on monday to explore southern pole of the moon which scientists think could hold frozen water and precious elements Luna 25 was expected to reach the moon in just 12 days whereas Chandrayaan is taking 40 days but why is that well the most important factor is the weight while Chandrayaan 3 weighs a whopping 3900 kg the Luna 25 is much much lighter weighing just 1750 kg Now that Russia is out of the race to moon all eyes are on India's Chandrayaan 3 After successful completion of India's moon mission India will join an elite league of three nations the United States Russia and China to make a soft landing on the moon If you like the video do like comment share and subscribe